Hey guys, what's going on? This is another Airsoft Dude 1 production. Today we're going to be doing the video review and unboxing video of the Contour video camera. This is the Contour Roam 2, which is kind of like a sport line version um, of like an Airsoft gun. You know, Classic Army makes a sport line version of their higher end models. It's the cheaper version, and uh, but it is still top notch. You know, I prefer a Contour better than a uh, GoPro any day of the week. So now let's open it up. As you can see, I've already taken the normal tape off and I've opened it. Just put this on here for aesthetics or to keep it closed. Now, upon opening the box via the UPS ground, you know, you got from UPS ground. This got here within um, probably three or four days. So. And we ordered it straight, or I ordered it straight from, well, my mother, she got it for me for my birthday, uh, which is on Saturday. But I got it in about two days uh, time, three days. You know, all you have padding-wise is this. Uh, the box is pretty nice, though. I wouldn't really worry about it too much. So, upon looking at the box, it is very nice, and it looks quite honestly a beautiful box you know you got nice designs all over it it's as you can tell from the front it's waterproof it's HD and it's an action camera and then on the side it will tell you everything it should come with and then here if it will focus okay you can't really read it but these are right here these are the um, the settings that you can set the camera to uh, record in and then the FPS rates and all that are frames per second not feet per second the back you can tell that it's a uh, action camera it's waterproof it shows you a couple pictures of what it can do and all that good stuff now um, opening the box is a different story you may it, it'll get ripped don't worry about it pull the tab out lift it up and this is going to be hard with two hands but the box does rip quite easily so open that pull the two tabs out and then there's another little piece to retain it I guess and to do so you have to lift over this. This is quite annoying when opening the box. Now you're going to need to cut the tape here and here. And then on the bottom it'll say in whatever color you got. I got black of course. And then it just slides out like so. As you can see it's kind of just like a DVD cover. You know. Now looking at the box. The inner box. You've got this interesting little picture of how I guess you could wear it on goggles. Um, open it up, you know, this is not exactly how it came, so don't don't worry if yours doesn't come in this exact order, because I've opened it and played with it a little bit. Your instructions, or, well, not even instructions, just your, this is the camera, how you open it, how you turn it on, how you put your memory card in. Now, Looking at the camera, here's the camera. Let me pull it out real quick. It comes charged, and it does not come with the lanyard on there. The other half of the lanyard is on my helmet, uh, just because it took me a minute to get it on there, so I uh, don't really want to take it out. And also for this, there's two mounts right here where you can put the lanyard through, and right here where you can put the lanyard through. Both of those places you can put the lanyard through, and as you can see, it comes out that hole right there. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to show you what else it comes with. The normal package. It comes with a 4 gig memory card. And an adapter so it can go into your uh, SD card slot on either like a, a photo frame or your computer or something like that. I don't have to worry about this because I just upload things using my tablet, which I'm recording right now. 
And we'll go into more detail on the rest of these later. As you can see, you've got your profile mount, your rotating surface mount, um, and an extra adhesive pad, which is kind of hard to get out of the box, so I'm not going to take it out. A contour sticker. A decent size micro S or micro um, what do you want to call it USB or a mini USB not micro so most of your cables will fit in most of your normal cables for mostly anything really and then your uh, bag it's a nice little bag you know so now on to the actual review here now looking at the camera, as you can tell, it's the black, and it's shiny, you know, so, and it comes with a little piece of tape on top of the, uh, the lever to turn it on and off, which is kind of sticky, but whatever. So here's the top. I'm going to go from the back to the front. Now as you can see, you've already seen the little eyelets right there and right there. Now. If you want to know how to get your battery, or get to your battery and get to all of that stuff, um, and your SD card slot and all that, all you're going to have to do at this point when you open the box is just slide up. And it's spring loaded, so it'll open right up. Now, inside, you've got your charging hole right here. That's where you charge it. This button right here is the other side of this button so you push that the laser will turn on there's your SD card slot your reset button is down here or your reset is this one right here it's kinda hard with the lighting resets right there and I believe your um oh and that's your formatting button down there you can't really see it it says format so you can't really miss it and here's your rubber seal so uh... It, it's really nice you know easy layout you know you can figure it out yourself that's why it's on the back it says dead simple yeah it's dead simple so you just close the door and slide back now when you have the cap off that this cap right here this is rubber it's not hard or anything it's nice rubber uh, it's impact rubber so you know it'll last make sure to keep that on so you don't break your screen or, or your uh, lens or anything now looking at the front it's kinda hard to read this stuff with the reflection of the lights and my uh, tablet and all that good stuff but on the bottom here, it says Contour Rome 2. At the top left, it says, on the top left of the laser, it says uh, 1080p HD. And then on the right, it says 170 degree wide. And then in the middle there is your uh, level laser, or your laser level, sorry. Um, and then your camera. Up at the top, you've got your degree marks so that you can actually rotate the lens if you can see this here see how it says zero you can rotate it oh. it's hard to do all this with one hand which I'm going to start be using this actually to record so I can do stuff with uh, better so you can see your zero mark you can rotate it so that if you have it on a helmet or something and you have it mounted like this as long as your level is straight now it, it beeps so just listen for the beeps so if your levels flat your video will be flat click it one click the button on the back once for the laser to go on and one for it to go off and then your little laser this will show up 
This means there's no SD card slot. Hold on, let me shut it off. Red means there's no SD card in there. And green means there's an SD card and it recognizes it. The uh, left one is your battery. If it's green, it's charged. If it's red, it's almost dead. So you can turn this and it locks every 90 degrees. So at 90 degrees it locks. At 180 it locks. At 90 again it locks. And then all the way over to zero. So I'm going to turn it back to zero so it's straight. I find this a really helpful thing. I have not used this yet, being that I got it today. But I find that nice because it's going to be mounted like this this on my helmet so I can rotate it so it's flat so I don't have to do any editing when I, before I upload the video to YouTube it says contour on both sides it has your little made in China sticker and it also has your uh, beware there's a laser in this sticker uh, you know the one that says don't point it at your eye that you've seen on every laser everywhere this is just your I don't even know your barcode and stuff. This is right here. There's a hole for a mount. Um, a normal tripod. If it's a normal tripod, it'll fit, which is nice because this is what I'm going to be recording stuff with now. I know it's it, it's not a camera, but it's still 1080p. I mean, it's not like a recording camera that most people would use, but this is what I'm going to use, so deal with it, right? Um, so when you look at this, that is your mounting system and these are the rails that it slides on before I got it I never figured out what those things were but you just slide it on and it's quite tight and until it gets to the end it doesn't lock so if you want it to lock you have to slide it all the way down to the end as you can hear you probably heard it lock and it's quite tough to remove on there it says uh, clean surface or yeah clean application surface thoroughly remove backing and adhere to surface press firmly for best results let's sit overnight before use so if you're applying it to a helmet or something do that I don't know if that's true you know just wipe it down with alcohol wait a second for it to evaporate stick it on don't play with it for a while you know and I would suggest using the lanyard because you know this is an expensive camera so use the lanyard and also the lanyard is quite tough to unbuckle so should this fail and it falls off your helmet just the force of it falling is not going to uh, to loot or s snap this and it's quite tough lanyard you know your normal lanyard uh, in the video, it kind of looks kind of blue, the camera, but it's really flat black. Um, now, if you see this little button right here, that you slide it over and you can't open the back. So if you're doing anything in water with it, it's waterproof up to like 10 feet, I believe, out of the box, which is really cool. Unlike a GoPro, where you have to buy a waterproof case. So also, if you're in the middle of an airsoft game and it starts raining, you're good. Or maybe if you're kayaking, you're good. You know, you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, you could probably get a waterproof case so it's safer, but, you know, your choice. Now, to start recording, all you have to do is slide this lever on the top forward. Now you're recording. But there's no memory card, so it won't record right now. But it just that's how you record now when if you want to lock it in the off position it's locked now this right here is textured rubber so it's easy to grip when you have to reach up and it's quite hard to undo the button so you know none of this stuff is going to be knocked loose or anything which is I find very nice so you slide it forward lock it on unlock slide off so I love this setup. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of plexiglass. I'm going to cut out this right here.
going to take some glue. I'm going to put the plexiglass on there. I'm going to glue it so that I can have a screen protector for this. You know, this says con uh, contour on it. Um, but I'm going to do that because if you don't know, Milsim Junkie, which is the guy that records a lot of CQB City videos, he got his contour shot out, which really sucks, you know. So, uh, this is my review, my before the action review of the uh, Contour HD camera. If you haven't followed me on Facebook, or not followed me, but uh, liked me on Facebook, go ahead, AirsoftDude1. Um, I may be doing an Instagram, I don't know, but uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe, trying to get my subscribers up. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.